Hello, hello. This is my second time trying to film this video. I am coming from uh, my pre-op appointment. Um, I have just one more left after today. I'm really excited. This is actually my first time filming outside. That's the hospital back there. So yes, I'm heading to my car. So I'm gonna get in my car in just a second. I'm gonna pause the video, but I wanted to start now because I feel like if I don't start, it won't get done. So I'm not gonna pause. I'm just gonna get in, y'all gonna come in with me. Yes, you are. So, uh, whew, the wind is blowing, so excuse my hair. Um, yes. So, guys, I. Ooh, where do I begin? Um, so I had um my dietitian visit today. Um, I have one more. We it was for December nineteenth, but my dietitian was like, "You're doing so well." Um, and she was asking if there was a certain time in January that I wanted to have my surgery. She just said that, um you know, it just had to be six months away from my first visit. So my first visit was the beginning of July. So they moved my pre-op date up. I mean, not pre -op, Yeah, my pre-op dietitian visit, they moved that up from December 19th to December 6th. So hopefully, I will be getting my surgery the first week, hopefully, <laughs> the first week in January. Y'all, I can't tell y'all how, the first full week, I can't tell y'all how so excited I am about that because my son's birthday is January 20th. First, he'll be turning nine, and I wanted to do a little shindig for him at his school. I'm gonna want to do like a little pizza party or what have you. Um, so I'm really excited. Excuse me, I'm turning my car on because I need to go get my kids before traffic gets crazy where I am. But anyway, I'm so excited, y'all. I at this. Ooh, I'm ashy, it's cold. This has been something that I've wanted for like about two years now. And to know that it is happening, I am, I will get my surgery date, my last appointment. So December 6th, I will know when my surgery will be. I just want to cry because this is a major lifestyle change and I have been trying to lose weight my whole life like since I've been plus size and I've been plus size I started gaining weight in middle school and I can't tell y'all how amazing this feels to know that I'm going to be healthy like All I want is just to be healthy, to live longer for my kids and to just not have to take blood pressure medication anymore. Um, it's just, I know the vanity part is there, the whole being smaller, being able to go into a store um, that average size people can go into and find like your outfit that you want straight off the rack no issues they have your size I've always wanted that but the older I've gotten and I'm only 30 but the older I've gotten it's been more about my health and since having my son I've been you know eating better and trying to incorporate physical activity in my life but after having my daughter and to know that I lost my mom at an early age. I was 22 when my mom passed. She passed away of colorectal cancer. And she was very fit, very active. But the one thing my mom did not do 
is go to the doctor as she should because when she went to the doctor and was diagnosed with colon cancer, she was a stage three and a stage three pushing stage four. And my mom had been displaying symptoms like for about six months. And I always said that I wanted to, when I had my son, I wanted to be here for him as long as I could. I can't tell y'all, I, I feel sorry for people that lose their parents at such a young age. And even though I was an adult, I was an adult with a one-year-old son. I was young and even though I have siblings, I have two older brothers and I still have my dad, I just felt very alone. So having my daughter was something that just made me say, you have to do this because I don't want my daughter to be me. Sorry for the emotional video. Y'all don't know me that well. I'm trying not to cry, but I feel so blessed that God allowed me this opportunity to do this because two years ago, the insurance I had would not cover it. And now that I've been blessed to have insurance that will, I am just forever grateful. And I just owe him everything because it was only him that made this possible. So I'm so grateful. Um, I also started getting therapy because I want to fix, I'm like all about health. Not only my physical health, not only my financial health, but also my mental health. Like I want everything to be intact because January, the date of my surgery is literally the date that everything is starting over for me. Like everything is going to be new. And I trust and believe in God that he's going to make sure that everything is going to flow the way that it should. He's going to make sure that I come out right, that this process will go well because he was the one that made it possible for me to have it. So because he did that for me, I know that he's going to make sure that I succeed at this and I have to do my part as well. But I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful. Um, and to anybody that is thinking about going through this, if it came across your mind and you have the resources to get it done, sis, brother, do it. If you are going through the process and you're questioning whether or not this is for you, I feel like if it presented itself, it is. Like this is not the easy way out by no means. We're talking about them going in and, and changing your anatomy if you're having the R and Y or them going in and, and removing 80 to 85 percent of your stomach, which is a major organ. This is not by no means the easy way out. So don't let anyone tell you that. It's just a tool. And I think that I'm just trying to do the work pre-op to make sure that I'm changing my eating habits now, to make sure that I'm working on my mental health to fix those things so I don't want to cope with eating a bunch of chips because I'm feeling down about something that happened in my past. So, yeah, I just feel so blessed. Thank you all for watching this video. Those of you that have stumbled across, I promise you all of my videos are not emotional like this, um, where I'm on the brink of shedding a tear. Um, but I'm just, I just feel so blessed. So I love you all. If you have any advice, those of you that have already had your surgery, um, if you have any advice about where I'm at right now, um, please offer it. I'm, I'm happy for it. Um, and if anybody has any questions about anything, just let me know. Um, and I can answer it as best as I can. Those of you that may be thinking about going through this process. So, um, you all have a blessed and wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.